Skill one, activity two, and again, these are the exact same objectives as skill one, um, activity one, because we're working on the exact same thing, just showing it in a little different way, trying to get a little bit more depth. But to expand a student's knowledge of fractions from part of a whole and part of a set to a number line, to identify a fraction on a partition number line, to place a fraction on a number line that is not partitioned. So if you go through, when you look at your materials, um, there will be um, a number lines that look like this, okay? And so what you do is you actually cut them out and it'll say fifths and then one will be, um, one will have the partitions on it, one will not. What you, do, what you do is you cut it out, you fold it, and then you go through and you put a paper clip on it, okay? And again, this can be done in a small group with you leading this. You also could have this as, you know, students all have their own number line and they're with a partner. And all you're doing is you're saying, okay, this is a blank number line. Let's go ahead and take a look. And what fraction would we be on? So again, they have to go through and figure out, well, how many parts are there? Well, one, two, three, four, five. So it's in fifths, right? And so I have one, two, three. I have three, and what did I count? I counted fifths, so it would be three fifths. And then you can go ahead and move it again and say, all right, um, what fraction would we be on now? And again, they have to go ahead and do that. Now for the reverse, right? You can go ahead and you can flip it over and then you can say, okay, we're on fifths, right? Um, if we're on fifths, and it also helps if you laminate these, but if we're on fifths, right, about what fraction would I be on if we're on fifths, okay? And you, they go through and say, all right, well, they're, they're visualizing, they're using, they're saying, all right, this would be one piece and two, they're using their fingers. So I think this would be probably about maybe two fifths. And then you can go ahead and you can check it too. So the first, best way to do it at first is have them work with the partition ones, right? And then you can go ahead and you can flip it over and you can use it almost as an estimate to, you know, about if this is fifths, about what would this be at too, okay? We'll go through another one here and this one is eighths. So again, you'll cut it out and it'll look like this. Then you go ahead and you fold it. You'll put the paper clip on it. And again, they, you can go ahead and you can ask them, okay. Um, what fraction am I at right now? And again, you don't want them to see this other side that says eights. You want them to go ahead and work on this side first and figure out that it's eights. If you tell them it's eights, it almost makes it too easy. You want them to go through and, you know, again, I have one chunk, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is in eights and I have one, two, three. I have three and what did I count? I counted eight, so it would be three eights. Then after you do that, you can go ahead and they know it's an eights and they're estimating and say, okay, um, about where would I be at there and say, mm, uh, this looks maybe about six eighths and go ahead and look and one, two, three, four, five, it's in between five and six. So you could say six eighths was a pretty good guess right there too. And again, there's other number lines besides fifths and eighths. And this is just a good activity too, to get your kids some depth. You can always have these pre-made and then do this as like a warm up for them or you're having them work on it. But it's just designed for them to make it a little bit more interesting. It's not just working off of a worksheet. And then um, it's a really good activity that you can do too. You can lead it. You can have students working together. Um, it's all about really how you want to use it or what you want to do it uh, for that particular day. Okay. So this is um, activity. This is skill 1.1, activity 2.